Hello and welcome to a video on how to ballast a uh, Hornby track and install the track lay underlay um, tape onto your layout. So here we have a short straight piece of track and we're going to make it look like this here which is beautiful, it all looks very nice. So here we go. So we've got the piece of track here and we've got the tape. So what you want to do is you want to peel off the tape and you want to measure this um, to how big it needs to be. Luckily we've already done it with these two marks here. Um, so what I'll do is I'll stretch it out and then we'll get our, it's very sticky by the way just saying, our little knife and we will cut here. Give it a Sometimes it might need a bit more than one foot and after about two you should just be able to pull it off and you'll notice on the back it has this white paper now what you want to do is you just want to get your little knife here just prise it off a tiny bit so you can get your finger underneath it there we go right. and then you want to peel it so that it's straight just like that because if it's not it will probably break um, and won't look as good now uh, what you want to do is you want to get this lined up here with this little notch and put it right on so that it's straight and is even so if you look at that now what we need to do is we need to trim that because that's a bit too um, outwards so what we'll do is we'll just get the knife and just cut like we normally would but you've got to get it lined up with a little knock here flip it over to this side we go and that all just should pull off quite easily so there you've got the track underlay under it um, um, the ballast will stick to it as well and we'll just put some PVA glue down the side. Right, so once you've nailed your track in here, um, you can see the underlay, you want to get a bit of PVA glue. Um, we got ours from home base, um, other, sh other shops are available. And all you want to do is you just want to get the glue and just put a small rim. Oh, let me just unscrew the top so that it will come out, that would help. Right, so there you want to get a bit there and just squeeze gently and get a nice beading round of glue. And then you want to do both sides, just bring it back. Now you have got to be careful if you've got it like I have with the sleepers nearly hanging off, which isn't the best, but it'll do because it can, it can knock you. Um, and then what you want to do, you, uh, you want to get your ballast, we've got this little ballast, um, and you just want to pour it in the middle of the track, quite evenly, or at least try to get it even. And what you want to do is you want to push it in to each of the little nooks and crannies, so then it will stick to the tape below. Now it doesn't matter if any overbleeds because it can stick to the PVA glue which is on the other side. So just get it nice and in. Push it along a bit so that you get an even spread. And just kind of push your finger along where the rails are and rest your finger on there. And then once you get to the end of the section, what you can then do is you can like tip it over the edge so it gets onto the PVA glue at the sides and then it looks a bit more realistic if you've got it not just in the middle um, now you don't want too much ballast because uh, then the train can't run over it unless you're doing disused track and you can just knock yourself out with the ballast really um, and then you just want to if there's room on the sides you just want to get a bit more ballast onto the glue there. Hopefully. 
it'll look a bit better. And, uh, really, you want no glue to be showing. You just kind of, oops, I keep fell over. Um, just want to give it a poke a bit. Now I'm a bit light on the ground here, so I probably put a bit too much glue on. You only want a bit. this side as well and then just give it a poke so it get, gets in between the um, sleepers and make sure you can't really see any of the glue now I have definitely put a bit too much on a bit too much glue um, so probably put a lot less than I did and then just really get it in the middle and then probably leave it to dry and stick for about um, 20 hours or so like wake up the next morning and it should be done depends what time you go to bed or what time you do it um, and it should look really good and then just hoover it get the hoover out or vacuum cleaner if you don't know what a hoover is um, and then uh, get all the spare bits of ballast and then you can use them again on other bits and then you don't waste any so this is what it will look like after you've finished with it um, it's literally nearly solid this side that side I've just done today and uh, it gives a nice bit of weathered dust look on the, uh, on the old sleepers it kind of looks a tiny bit better, a bit more realistic. So thanks for watching this uh, tutorial on how to ballast. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more model railway vi videos.